So in this problem, we're told that a hockey puck consists of a circle of mass m and radius r that has a coefficient of kinetic friction mu sub k with the ice below it, and that it has a uniform mass density. We're first asked what the torque due to friction on this spinning hockey puck is. Um, it has uh, initial angular velocity omega naught. And so in order to calculate the uh, torque due to friction, what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the torque due to friction on a very small ring of mass dm. And so we're going to calculate what this dm is. First we're going to calculate dA. dA is going to be the circumference, 2 pi r times dr. And so then dm is going to be sigma times 2 pi r dr, where sigma is the uniform mass density. Sigma is going to be the area, uh, the mass divided by the area, so m over pi r squared. So this is going to be uh, 2 pi m r over pi r, big R squared, for the, the full radius. And so that's going to give us 2 m r over r squared dr. So this tells us that df, the infinitesimal friction force, is going to be mu sub k times dm times g on this infinitesimal ring, which is going to just be 2 mg r over r squared mu sub k dr. And this tells us that dt, or d tau, the infinitesimal torque, is just uh, df times r, the radius, since uh, the force of friction will always oppose the direction of motion, and so friction is always going to be a tangential force here. So that's going to give us 2 uh, m g r squared over r squared mu sub k dr. So now all we have to do is integrate uh, the torque over the full radius. So that's going to be the integral from 0 to tau of d tau is equal to the integral from 0 to big R of 2 mg mu sub k r squared over big R squared dr, which is just 2 mu sub k mg r over 3. So this is our full torque on the um, on the hockey puck due to friction. And so now we're going to calculate how long it will take for the hockey puck to stop moving. And in order to do that, we're going to have to do some more integrals. Uh, we know that torque is equal to I alpha. So this tells us that alpha equals d squared theta dt squared equals torque over I. We know that, it, that the, uh, the hockey puck is a uh, circle of uniform mass density, so that tells us that I is equal to 1 over 2 mr squared. So this gives us 2 tau over mr squared. And so then we can take that uh, the integral from 0 to omega, or from omega naught, sorry, omega naught to uh, omega at time t of alpha dt is equal to the integral from um, 0 to t of 2 tau over mr squared dt. So now this tells us that uh, omega of t minus omega naught is equal to uh, 4 over 3 times mu sub k g over r times t. And so then we know that omega at time t equals omega naught. I'm sorry, this is a negative uh, because uh, friction is always negative. Uh, so omega at time t equals omega naught minus 4 mu sub kg over 3r times t. And so this tells us that uh, if the angular velocity at time t is equal to 0, which is when it will come to an rest. Omega naught equals 4 mu sub kg over 3rt. And 
t is equal to 3r omega naught over 4 u sub k times g. So that's going to be the time t at which the spinning hot puck will come to rest.